lovely lady uh, sitting next to me right now. This is Roberta E. Basson, and she is a talented actress who created and stars as her one woman show about Amelia Earhart in her own words, and authored the book, Amelia Earhart, Me and Our Friends, Journaling the Journey, the Amelia Earhart self-help book. And Roberta is also the development consultant <laughs> on Laughter Talks. Thank you very much for that, Roberta. And now let's everybody give a round of applause for Roberta. Woo! Oh, well. <laughs> and there'll be more applause. I can assure you of that. Now, thank you for being here. And um, you know, we did so well last time and people enjoyed the segment. So this is the new segment that we're doing. And this is called Ask Roberta E. Now, last week, uh, oh, uh, because now everybody, we discovered that Roberta is the second coming of Ann Landers. Remember that, <laughs> Roberta. Now, um, so I want to let you know that we are all lucky to have her here today. Now, last week, Roberta, we're going to go right into this deep end of this pool because we like to help people that are in really trouble. Oh, that's true. So last week we had something. I get my thinking glasses yeah, on. Yeah, put your thinking glasses on because something very bizarre happened here at the studio. And uh, I, I had um, a, a guy call here. His name was Ernie Retrograde, okay? And he, he actually broke into the guest house out in back of the studio. And it made me so nervous that I've been drinking wine coolers ever since. You know, not that I'm a drinker, but I, right. in fact, I think one is catching up with me now because I just had a little slip. Now, uh, but what happened is before the police came to pick him up and take him away, he actually demanded that I ask you a question. And he said, that's why he broke in. How did he even know that I was going to be taking questions? He watched your last show. And oh. he just knows that he knew you were going to be taping again. And he didn't know exactly when, but this happened two weeks ago. So oh, I have so glad I, nothing bad happened to you. Yeah, so, you know, I'm safe. I'm safe. So I've been drinking, so I'm safe. But <laughs> um, I, even, even at that, I don't like to disappoint the fans. And I know that you don't either. Right. So he had a question. And he is a fan of yours because he's seen you on YouTube. And he said, uh, he I don't wanted, know if I want these kind of fans. Uh, well, you know, now you know where your career is going. That's it doesn't look good. Okay. So is it true that you did a carpool karaoke with James Gordon of Late Night? He said he saw you do something like that. And oh, did you really do that? The magic of the magic of television, the magic of technology yeah. helped a lot. <laughs> So what happened? Uh, well, it was a TV Academy event for the Late Late Show. And um, uh, he was there and I got to meet him and talk with him. Wow. But there was a special uh, unit that you went to and they filmed you uh, like you're in the car. And wow. then they put that in the device and it came out literally like you're driving with him and doing a uh, carpool karaoke. I know. Wow, that's so <laughs> and, cool. And when I put it up, I didn't realize that people would really think that I would that it would work so effectively that it would. I was in the car with him, but we did we did get to hug and talk and um, have a good time. So yeah, so. So well, he was you know, there. After he did that, because I do my research here on Laughter Talks, I went and I researched that. And I uh, now you, you know, you, I, I mean, this is 
like I'm out of the closet now. <laughs> yeah, I know. But you're right about technology. It was out of the so car. Out of the car. Wow. Okay. So I'll make sure that he gets to see this in prison so he doesn't, you know, I don't want to break it in again because after all, you, you really have to be careful of people. So, um, okay. So now I but If have, anybody uh, wants to see it, they can go to my Facebook and it's on, it's on my Facebook. So. Okay. So we'll give them your Facebook page and they can go check it out because it's oh, too nice. Right. You went there, you got to meet him. And, um, I think this guy who asked you might have been a little bit jealous of James, so I'm glad you clarified that. Well, he he is one of the nicest people. So oh, he's generous, so like, nice. I love his show. I love his show. It's so much fun, especially now. But, you know, I had another question to ask first, but, you know, this is really an urgent question, and this is a real dear Abby Deanne Landers question, so I'm trusting you with this. I got an old fashioned letter come to me in the mail. Old fashioned, not like oh, in the know. drink. Old. It wasn't with the drink old fashioned. Uh, 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 uh. Me, no, I was just doing wine coolers. But it came in the mail and I opened it up and it was a Dear Roberta E. It actually said, Dear Roberta E. Let me read it to you. Really? Dear Roberta E. My husband asked me for a divorce last night. He said that he wants to marry my sister. What is your advice on this subject? What she wants to know, what what should she do? What do you think about that? Uh he wants to he wants a divorce so he can marry her sister. What a scumbag. Well, you know, sisters are usually close. They sometimes look alike, sometimes. So I'm assuming he goes for the same type. So maybe they could work something out where it's like share and share alike you know oh. i mean maybe he doesn't have to unless he really wants to divorce but you know maybe they could work something out where they have maybe like share, like like share. Menage and trois? i <laughs> i think it's <laughs> la toi but i like your way menage and toi we could, oh, you, know, oh, oh, you know, it shows I, I don't know my, um, my, I don't know that area that's good, but I'm just thinking, you know, unless, unless, you know, he, she wants to just switch and marry his, her sister, and then she can maybe marry his brother if he has a brother. Well, that makes sense. And you know, hey, Roberta E. You can have I, a double wedding. I did not know you were so liberated, but that's really good advice for today's time. Well, for somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> it's not necessarily what you have to do, but you know, for some people, this could really work. Hey, why get the divorce? She's got a lot of tenure in there. Let her do it. Yeah, we'll send her that response or get her to watch the show. And you have helped her. Thank you so much. That is like. Unless amazing. she really wants to get rid of him and, you know. Well, then do you know a hitman? <laughs> you know, but it sounds like, you know, we'll, we'll have to follow up on this. Uh, this okay. This we, we don't take this lightly, people. So there's a lot of choices. So, okay. So now this is a very, very good question um, because I'm interested in, in what goes on in the world. And I know that you and I have never touched on this subject, but a fan, uh -oh. yeah, a fan who gives her name as Starbright, and this was, she sent an email. She wants to know if you have ever seen a UFO and if not, do you believe we are being visited by UFOs? And if you have seen a UFO, have you met any aliens? What's wow, that's, that's a, a deep, loaded that's question. A deep question. Right. So I guess it what is what you define as a UFO. Um, I guess it could be uh, under your favorite overhang <laughs> is is that what she's talking no, about i think she means those people from other planets but now i know where you hang out a lot <laughs> <laughs> oh well if they're people from other planets mm -hmm. then they would be just like us because you're calling them people um 
but well, have uh, you ever no no but have you ever seen any because if you've seen them well you i wouldn't i wouldn't know if i've seen them. well would that's I? true because they could be under disguises i could be an alien how would you know i right. think you but, suspected i was well but look at it and you know we always think of it in a negative or a scary way but you would be the nicest alien and i would be your friend <laughs> and you would be my friend oh do you hear that people this so we have to be thing. we have to be everybody should be treated fairly and joyfully and equally wow. and and you just and the and just think of the universe as as a, a big warm embraceable I feel like singing. <laughs> like, Embraceable you. Oh, that is, you know, that, you know, now um, there's another question here. And I know you love these questions from horny men. I just suspect. Oh, dear. That you well, really I do. Yeah. So this is another one. Well, this, this fan, you know, I don't think I'd ever allow him to come to a real life taping. Oh, excuse me. Uh, but again, he called the secretary here. And he said that he is in perfect shape and he wants you to know that. So, you know, he's in perfect shape. He uh, works a pole and he wants to know. The he works a what? A pole, a dancing pole. You oh, know, you mean they, like, oh, you mean. Um, like a dancer on a pole. You mean pole dancing. Oh, <laughs> I knew you knew what I was talking about when I didn't know how to say it. You were good. Oh, pole dancing. <laughs> yeah, you're also like a psychic. Holy cow, the woman is amazing. Now, so he, he does work this pole. He's a pole dancer, Roberta. Yeah, okay. He's not a pole, a pole vaulter. No, he's a pole. No, well, that's, no, he's just a pole <laughs> That dancer. would be really unless working the unless pole. Unless he's vaulting his thing around while he's dancing. Yeah, I well, know. I was thinking, you know, more. But he has a question for you. This okay. is and, important. And also, when you say he's in shape, what kind of shape is that? <laughs> uh, athletic and well hung. I saw a picture. <laughs> I'll, in fact, I'll post it. No, thank show. you. When we <laughs> edit it, I'll, yeah. Well, here's That's right. I gotta get. I've gotta go under my overhang. Uh, <laughs> but here's under my UFO. UFO. Yeah. I have to go and talk under my UFO. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you. You're such a kidder. Now, here's his question. Don't kid a kidder. I know, I know. To say. Yeah, here's his question. He wants to know the next time you are having a party, would you hire him to pole dance for you and your friends? He doesn't mind if your friends are there. And if not, would you be interested in having him come over and strip? He said it wouldn't cost you anything. He only works for tips. Just, just, just the idea of my eyes and my dignity, <laughs> and also, <laughs> I mean, no, no insults here. Also, I don't know what year we're going to be able to have a party, even because in a year and a half since um, I've even been in the presence of. A stripper. <laughs> a, well, a person, another, a stranger. Uh, so, uh, yes. And, um, you you know, so we, we don't even know how many years that would be. And by that time, you know, he may be not. <laughs> uh, yeah, he may not be the kind of shape or age yeah. one okay, would even so, care to be. But so, it yeah. was a very nice offer. Very nice offer, which... Okay. Um, but yes. Mr. Pole Dancer, you got your answer. It's no. It's a no on this. Don't call us again. Don't write to us. Roberta E. says no. And when a woman says no, it's no. Okay. <laughs> now, you know, Roberta E., yeah, drink your water. I know that's vodka. I've heard about you. Now, I meant to ask you this before we go, because you've answered all these uh, wonderful <laughs> things, but I wanted to know, you used to say something about that you you have a clothing line and you made a dress out of curtains are you now wearing a dress you made out of curtains is that is that what i'm seeing well um actually i don't know but what i wanted to say okay so, so say that. i was telling you that it's very sexy. Uh, when when the pandemic started i had all this fabric that I had inherited from my wonderful aunt who taught me how to sew and she would when I was a little girl and always yeah. it always was a hobby 
And so I just took all these old fabrics. Wow. Yes, they were fabric. like they were new. They were new fabrics that hadn't been ever used for a, an awful long time. I mean, Can you stand and up a um, little bit farther. Right, I'm going to move my look chair. How, look how cute you are. That's really adorable. So, so I call it. I call it the uh, the. So when the pandemic when the pandemic started. Yeah. I thought it would only be two months like everybody else. And I thought, you know, I have all this very, very uh, old and fabric that is like, it's new. The fabric was new, but never used. And I'm just going to create things. Well, they weren't in, they, they weren't, they were just different sizes and odd sizes and odd pieces of large pieces of material, some small, some large. So I, I didn't use patterns. I made my own patterns, which my Aunt Lil had taught me how to do. And I created these different clothes and I called them cute and cozy line because I figured well, we're gonna be home. You need things that are, it was summer. Who would think that it would be summer again yeah. when I'm starting to sew again a year later. And um, those, so I created are those cute and cozy. Back of you? Yes, so this is, this is, you my, so, I love it, Roberta. And it, it is, I'm not sure, but I think it was a, actually originally uh, a curtain that she bought because she loved to buy remnants. Because see the, but anyway, so I did that. I call it the slash and cut method. <laughs> Take the fabric, figure it out, cut this way, cut that way, tear it here and stitch it and stitch it. I put it on, then I sometimes sew it while it's on me. So that the seat to make it fit. Well, that's adorable. Show us the other. What's that other? Is that a robe? Okay, that's, so I'm this, loving this. This, this was. Uh, I didn't. This fabric was all by itself. This orangey fabric, um, which I I didn't care for that much. And then I had this boil, which is something you can see through. I have a lot of this, and I wow. thought, and I started to put it next to it, and I thought, you know what? I think if you keep adding it. And that's how you get a designer look, and it um, it's like a little a little uh, kimono or a little robe I made, and I created the the look. And that is so I, pretty. I, at that time, I try it on and put it put it on for you. Oh, could but you it, do uh, that? We'd like, could could you do that real fast? Yeah. Um. I and I, I was you know you you, how, you really yeah. should get this line going. I think you'd have a lot of people buying your stuff. So uh, what it um, it ties? I I tied it on the inside. Oh, it ties like that. I didn't know I'd be doing modeling here. <laughs> and then it crosses over. Um, and That's I made wonderful. the little um, I don't know. Oh, the frogs. They call them frogs to attach across um i'm looking in the camera here to see how i I'm know doing. and it's it like goes backwards it's hard to tell when you're looking in these so zoom it goes like i made the little frogs because i figured well and then um i it's just ironic i just had enough material and it happened to uh, actually i managed to match the the same pattern to fall down along the line and so we have my comfy. I like on. it. Wow. We're getting a fashion show out of this. Yeah. And then nice. I have a lot more left. And I might make um, like one of these boil um, caftans out of it. But wow. we'll see. So that's that. Nice. And you know, it'll be nice for the summer. You, summer. Have, you are very creative. And Cute. I love this. And I think you should consider really selling this as a line of clothing because, you know, this is very unique and a beautiful, beautiful outfit. So oh, just, you know, it, it's such a pleasure to be on a show with my good friend, Marguerite, and get to share something that I felt really just joyful and good about. And I want all your viewers to just do what makes them feel good, follow their passions, and how matter how small, just for fun, and you never know where it's going to grow out of. You could have a cute and cozy uh, clothing line. That's right. So that's what I would say too. Yes. Well, Roberta, thank you. Say. That's really good. It's always good for women to support other. Women. And now everybody, as I always like to end the show and say, support your immune system. It's only <laughs> one per customer. And until we see you again. 
Take care. Thanks a lot, Roberta. You have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Mm -hmm.